Hello, this is Jennifer Bailey, and in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use absolute referencing. And this is a way of anchoring a cell or a series of cells so they're not automatically updated when you say copy and paste formulas. And we can use this to make our timesheet more efficient. So now we're going to alter this timesheet to make it work more efficiently. For example, if this is your timesheet and you went into work tomorrow and they offered you a pay rise, with your spreadsheet the way it is, you'd have to alter the rate of pay all the way down this column to reflect your pay rise. So what we can do is we can use something called absolute referencing to make our life a lot easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert um, a couple of rows in here. And I'm going to put rate. And I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller. I don't like the bold either. I shall just make that a bit smaller. There we go. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the rate of pay out of this column and we're going to put it here instead. So let's move our rate of pay, which is £6.31, and we'll put that there. Let's change that as well, make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And let's give it a pound sign as well. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to delete this rate of pay column because we don't need it anymore because our rate is up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click, delete, and I've deleted the entire column. Now all our formulas have gone a little bit crazy because we've taken their reference away. Because if you remember, these formula were referencing the rate of pay column, and we've removed it. So what we need to do is we need to correct these formula. So the C6 bit is correct, but we need to make, where it says reference, we need to refer to this cell here. So what we're going to do, just as a demonstration, I'm going to type in this cell reference, so B3. Now, these have updated themselves, they're now correct. But if I um, copy this down, as we have done in previous videos, you'll notice that it doesn't work right. Now, the reason being is, can you remember that the formula automatically up them, update themselves as you copy them, paste them down? Well, that's fine for the C7, but now the second part of our formula, which was referring to our rate of pay, is now referring to this cell here, not to this one as we want it to. So what we need to do is we need to do something with this part of the formula to make that stay the same. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to anchor this formula. So what I do is if I go to the formula and I put a dollar sign before the B, that will anchor the B, the, the column of the formula. And if I put a dollar sign before the three, and that will anchor the row of the formula. So now, when I copy and paste this down, you'll notice that it's correct. So the C7 updates, but the B and the three remained fixed. So that's what's worked all the way down here. So the next thing we need to do is you need to decide where you want to put your time and a half or your double time in. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to put it back in on the Saturday and Sunday again. So what I'm going to do on Saturday, all I'm going to do is tag on the end of here another multiplication, oops, another multiplication sign and 1.5. And let's just do that for Sunday. I'm going to make that 2. And then what we can do is we can copy and paste all of that information. It will basically repeat it. So every Saturday and Sunday will become time and a half and, and double time. So as you can see, all our formulas are reinstated again. They're all working fine. Let's just double check everything's right. We've got some little green signs here. Just double check to see why that is. It all appears to be fine, but it's always worth having a little look to see if it's all working properly. So there we go. It probably doesn't like it because there's different formulas in the middle, but they're all fine. So we can ignore the errors like that. There we go. 
So now you can see we've got a much more efficient timesheet. So if we alter our rate of pay in here now, so let's make it £6.50, everything automatically ups, updates itself in accordance to this one cell, which saves you an awful lot of time in updating every single value in a column. So in summary, in this lecture, I've showed you how to use absolute referencing, which involves anchoring a cell or series of cells. And in the case of our timesheet, it's made our work easier as we've only had to change one cell and automatically other cells can be updated. So therefore, make it much more efficient. I'm Jennifer Bailey and thank you for watching.